I love the box. It is so cute. Because I just realized for the long term, that's just not what I want for myself. Things from Aritzia. This is just really exciting to me. I love this stuff. <laughs> You guys, this is literally the best avocado toast ever. So what you do is you like grill the bread on the pan with garlic and butter. And then you put some avocado slices, you put salt, pepper, and pepper flakes on it. And then with a poached egg on top with some salt and hot sauce if you want. And it's literally heaven in your mouth. Like, best thing I've ever had. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> You're cooked to perfection. Hello you guys. So if you haven't heard, Tim Hortons and Justin Bieber collaborated and they made Timbits together. So they're like different than like the usual Timbit flavors and they're called Timbeebs. So, you know, I have to go and try them. So we're going to the Tim Hortons, the one closest to my house. Hopefully they have them because I feel like that's something that would sell out real quick, really quick. But they did come out yesterday. So today's like the day after they came out. So hopefully they have them. They also have like merch. They have like a toque, a tote bag, and what else? A fanny pack. So maybe I'll get that eventually, but like I already know that's already gonna be sold out. So hopefully we can just get the Timbits because I'm really excited to try them. And it's actually so cool that he did a collaboration with some Hortons. Like that's so funny. It's also like pouring, like shitting rain right now. Hi, I'm gonna get today. Hi, do you guys have the Timbeebs in stock? Yeah, we only have one kind of. Okay. Can I just get, do you guys only have a 10 pack? Yeah, we only need a 10 pack. Okay, I'll just get a 10 pack then, please. Yep. Can I please get a medium coffee with um, two sugars and then two almond milk, please? Sorry, two almond milk and how many sugars? Two, please. And a small ice cap, please. Nice, thank Okay, thank you. I don't know if you guys heard that. My window is soaked. I mean, my door. I don't know if you guys heard that, but they only have one kind in stock. I didn't even ask which one it was. I'm actually excited to see. We're gonna get surprised here. Which one do you think it is? I don't even know the flavors. Like, I have no I idea. I know that there's sour cream chocolate chip, um, birthday cake waffle. Oh, that um, sounds good. I they're hope we all get that gonna one. They're not gonna taste different. I'm telling you right now, they're gonna taste exactly like the other ones. Timbits all taste different though. Like, they're all different flavors. <laughs> anyway. We get the Justin Bieber box, which is cute. Can't believe he collaborated with Tim Hortons. Like that's like crazy. It's not. Yeah, it's He's like Canadian. Yeah, it's not. It's not crazy, but at the same time, it's like cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Can I please get um, some sleeves? All right. Secure the bag. Secure the goods. Don't ever say that again. Please don't ever say that again. <laughs> These are the birthday cake waffle. Okay, so here's what they look like on the unboxing here. <laughs> they just look like Timbits. I love the box, it is so cute. It kind of reminds me of the original Tim Hortons Timbits box, if you guys remember what that even looked like. No, no like it does not. Back in the day. Oh! Yeah, because it was more like yellow and colorful, I feel like. Yeah, but this one's aren't like, okay, yeah, enough. We're tasting them now. They taste it. <laughs> exactly like the birthday cake Timbits. <laughs> they do, but they're so good. I love like birthday cake flavor for things. I don't yeah. get where the waffle comes in. Mm. Yeah. Actually, I think they're more sweet. They're good. They have they're like, good, but I could not have more than two. Yeah, they have little sprinkles inside. More birthday cake. It's good though. If I go to like um, another Tim Hortons in the upcoming future, I'll get like other flavors if they have, because I knew that they were going to be sold out of something. Like, Look at my door. That is how much it's raining. I literally had it open for like, I don't know, a minute maybe, not even. And it is soaking wet. Hey guys, so I literally like been inside all day. It was pouring rain like, all day. Like it did, I'm still raining. Like it hasn't stopped. So like there's no way you can just like, go outside and that's the only thing that like sucks here during this time of the year is that like you can't really just go on a walk because it's literally downpouring 24 7 this rain wave just needs to pass because it's just literally like you saw how soaking wet my car door got like it's pouring and it's been like that all day just been like a complete gloomy day 
but anyways i was just like relaxing and watching some youtube videos and i kind of got inspired for some reason to clean out my drawers right now like my dresser because i realized that i haven't like looked through it in a while so let's do a little drawer clean out so this is the drawers set that i'm talking about um i have like most of everything in the closet but here i have just like um my long sleeves and turtlenecks but it's also stuff that like i don't really wear anymore to be honest so i'm gonna go through all of these drawers and get rid of some stuff and then i have my pajamas in the bottom here which i actually recently like looked through and got rid of some so that's the only drawer that's like been looked through so yeah let's do some organizing okay so before i start cleaning out my clothing real quick i just wanted to talk to you guys about like my new um thought process and what i want to start doing with my wardrobe and everything so basically i just realized that like buying low quality items and buying from unsustain unsustainable <laughs> websites is just not for me anymore because I just realized that, like, I used to order packages on Shein a lot. Like, every few months, I would order, like, a couple hundred dollars worth um, just to, like, stay on trend and, you know, like, replenish my wardrobe. But through doing that, I've learned and I've realized that, for me personally, that's just not the way to go. And I'd rather, like, invest and... Um, put my money towards more sustainable pieces and pieces that are going to last me longer that are good quality um because in the past i was just like i would never spend like um sixty dollars on a turtleneck right that's was my thought process i was like why why would i spend sixty dollars on a turtleneck when i can get a eight dollar one from shein right but now i realize that like that eight dollar turtleneck from shein only lasts me like a few months before not looking too good the quality just doesn't feel as good and it's unsustainable and they use like work environments that are not so good for the, their employers they pay them really cheap prices and the price of the clothing ref reflects like everything it reflects how much they pay their workers how sustainable they are and so when you like think about it that way it kind of just like makes me think like you know what like through my experiences of fashion and um, buying clothing a lot because I'm literally obsessed with clothing like I'm a shopaholic like I love all my shopping going shopping <laughs> I'm obsessed um, with fashion and everything and you know through my buyer experience through all the purchases I made for clothing and stuff I realized that I no longer am going to shop from um, unsustainable websites websites with cheap quality because I just realized for the long term that's just not what I want for myself I want to have like a wardrobe with sustainable good quality pieces that are just like my comfort pieces you know that are gonna last me a long time i know that they're not the quality is great and they're sustainable and what i'm wearing on my body it didn't harm anyone and it came from good sustainable materials and work environments and all that stuff so that's just like a switch that i want to make going forward with like purchasing my clothing you know what i mean i don't want to buy like four of the same shirt different color on shein i'd rather buy like one good quality um shirt from a good sustainable website that's like will last me a long time um instead of having those four different colors of the same shirt that i not even gonna wear so yeah that's just what i want to do with my wardrobe going forward and i totally understand that like obviously not everybody has the means to buy um more expensive things and more sustainable things obviously but what i'm saying is like more for me like i would just like binge buy and i'd get like like i said same shirt three different colors why did i do that i don't know i can just buy one good sustainable piece so that's like where i'm coming from but yeah so that's just what i want to gravitate more towards now and what i feel like is right for me right now and also like i realized that buying like these huge hauls on sheen it's like my closet gets is gonna like i'm gonna be hoarding clothing that i'm not even gonna be wearing and it's like i want to learn to live with less and you know i want to i want to wear everything that i have like i want to know what's in my closet obviously it's like fun to have different pieces but bottom line i just want everything to be more sustainable good for the environment yeah and i feel like it's like the energy that reflects also when you're wearing it how i feel about wearing it and yeah i'm not gonna like go and throw out every bad quality thing in my closet i will like let them go as i purge my closet when i whenever i organize it and stuff but yeah that's just 
my realization thought process right now in my lifetime where i'm at in my life that's just what i want to do um yeah i think that's all that i wanted to get across so yeah this is your sign to if you can if you have the means to um go for more sustainable choices and good quality pieces because i feel like it'll benefit you in the long term but yeah even just like making small steps towards bettering the environment and supporting better companies is a step in the right direction and will benefit us all for the long term for the future and it's like also i want my money going to good places good businesses you know so yeah okay let's get cleaning um excited to donate some stuff hopefully we can trash some things and donate Okay guys, so I just finished looking through my drawers. Here is the giveaway pile. Actually, there's a lot here. I'm very proud of myself. This is just shit that I haven't worn in so long. These are mostly like just like random shirts that are cheap or I thrifted and that I just don't wear anymore because I got them a long time ago. So this, it feels so good to declutter. Like it's literally directly correlates to my mental health. Like I feel like this is something that you should do like have like some routine for that you like declutter your closet like every month or every couple of weeks or whatever but trust me if you're feeling like you're in a rut or something try um like decluttering your space and i swear it'll make you feel so much better it just makes you feel like more free and just clean okay so this is the first drawer that i organized these are just like my sweaters i have my turtlenecks and then my bigger like winter sweaters here um, everything in here so far I wear. In here we got my long sleeve t-shirt. And then in here I got rid of a bunch of stuff from this drawer. This is all like tube tops for the summer that I can't hang up. And then these are all just like graphic t-shirts that I've thrifted or just like accumulated. But yeah, I'm so happy and I feel so much better that these drawers are like now all organized. It feels so good. for my skincare routine in the morning because i've never like done a skincare routine in the morning i mean this is not really a routine but actually it is because i do this almost every day now but i used to do like nothing for my face in the morning but then i realized that like i like doing this so i'm just gonna like update you guys because i used to literally do nothing for my skin in the morning but like just put sunscreen on it so things have changed a little bit and i'm also like wanting to update you guys on a couple of skincare products that i bought in like a last recent vlog that i haven't like updated you guys about yet um so basically when i wake up and you know come to the bathroom brush my teeth all that <laughs> I first thing I do is I just wet my face so I don't like wash it with any wash cleanser <laughs> I just wet it and then right on top of that I put hyaluronic acid this is actually almost empty but I have a newer bottle this is like a smaller version of the bottle but I bought recently like the bigger one it's um it's nice because this is going to last me like a longer time and it's only like $12 I think and the smaller one was like $6-$7 I don't know but the ordinary products are so cheap they sell them at like Sephora or you can get them online so yeah I literally just wet my face apply that and then I go in with the ultra repair first aid beauty cream I love this stuff lightweight but so effective and my skin loves it it has like no fragrance um, really good for like sensitive eczema prone skin my update on this is that I give it a 10 out of 10 so if you guys have like eczema or really dry skin for the winter just give it a try I know that obviously nothing works for every single skin type type out there but this definitely works for my sensitive eczema prone skin so 
I know it's very, very, very expensive, but for me, it's just worth it for to invest in my skin because of how dry and like my eczema comes out during the winter. So I definitely want to be using like really good um, products for my skin, especially in the winter time. So yeah, update. I love this. And then I also got like, if you guys watch that vlog, I got this toner from them. Alcohol free ultra repair wild oat hydrating toner. I really like this. It's super, super gentle on my skin and it makes my skin feel just like really smooth and toned. I don't know. It's, it's really good. So 10 out of 10 would suggest this as well. And it pairs really nicely with the moisturizer. Again, it is really expensive, but it's worth it for at least my skin. So yeah, overall I would rate them 10 out of 10. I love them. I've been using them every single day. Um, it's perfect. Like, I wish I discovered this earlier for my eczema prone skin in the winter because it would help me a lot, but it's okay. At least we know about them now. Um, I don't put that on in the morning though. That toner I only use at night. So my only things that I put on my face in the morning is the hyaluronic acid and the moisturizer. And then I put on this Unseen Supergroup sunscreen. I really like this. It feels like literally nothing on your face at all. Like, I swear to you, it's like really lightweight. Um, I really want to try their, they have a cream sunscreen like in a tub. I really want to try that. It's super expensive as well, but um, when it comes to sunscreen, it's good getting a good one as well, but obviously you don't need to. But I really want to try their cream one because I honestly like, it would be cool if I can just put the hyaluronic acid on in the morning and then just go from that straight to the cream with the sunscreen already in it and i think that their products are like um they don't have fragrance or anything so i feel like it would be good for my sensitive skin as well so if i get that i'll let you guys know but i'm really considering it just to try it out so yeah that's what i do for my skincare in the morning that's literally it i don't like to cleanse my face in the morning i don't know why but my skin just doesn't need it and it's fine without it so obviously every skin type is different but um, yeah, I don't cleanse my face in the morning and I never felt the need to. If anything, I'll just like rinse my like eyes out if they feel like icky with like water and that's it. Yeah, that's all. Hello you guys, so me and Madison and Joel, we are doing some errands today, some Christmas shopping errands. I usually never come to the mall, but I've been going often too. I guess because it's like Christmas shopping. Um, I also want to get a few things. I really want to get like a nice toque because I don't really, or I mean like a beanie toque, like not one with like a ball on the top because the only like ones that I have are with that, but I just want like a plain, nice, good quality one. So I think I'm gonna look at Aritzia for that, but we'll see. And yeah, also you guys, I just reached 40,000 subscribers. I just hit it. So I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. Like honestly, like it took me so long just to even reach like 40. So, and I was really happy about reaching 40. Now we're at 40,000. Like that's literally almost half a hundred thousand. Like we're almost half a hundred thousand, which is like mind blowing because of where I came from. Like I literally, like we started from the bottom, okay? We started at zero and like not everybody realizes that, that like every YouTuber you see on YouTube, like who has like a million subscribers or 100,000, 500,000, whatever it is, like they all started from zero. Like you have to realize how much work and effort that is. All started from zero and I just wanted to say thank you. Literally, if you're watching this right now, like I appreciate it so much and thank you for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, let's get me to 50K. But yeah, I just wanted to say I'm so grateful for you guys like watching my videos and interacting with my content. Like I couldn't thank you enough. Anyways, it's just really exciting to me. Anyways, so yeah, we're just gonna go in, do some shopping and hopefully I have a little haul for you guys when we get out, so. So this is my outfit of the day. We're wearing these pants, really comfortable with a matching shirt. And this is from Super Puff. I just got my Air Forces on with my sister's purse. It's actually windy right now, what the heck? I kind of like the wind though. Okay, I'm gonna get go my camera in the car. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. Okay, so 
so we just got home from the mall like a few hours ago we I had dinner and um, now we're here. I got some things from Aritzia. I actually, we went in there twice, so I got like two separate bags because like I went in and bought something and then we left and then we went back and then I bought something else. So as I said, I wanted to find like some cute toques slash beanies or whatever uh, to wear because I don't really have any cute ones. So um, I got two. So the first one that I got is just this TNA one. And I really like the neutral beige tone of it. I like how this is like brown and I feel like I can make some really cute like outfits with this. The inside is also like super soft and fuzzy and warm. And I really like the writing on it, like just how, I don't know. I just think it's really cute and it'll like match with a lot and I can like make some cute outfits with it. Um, so I got that. And I got this other too. This is actually not from even Aritzia. This is from Boathouse and it's like a champion. Um, toque it's actually really good quality and it's just like white it says ucla on it i just like the blue and the yellow embroidery i just think it's really cute and it'll like spice up an outfit instead of just like a plain white toque you know so i don't know i just couldn't resist i just really liked the writing on it and just like the toque in general it's really good quality so i love it and so the next thing that i got is actually from Aritzia as well, but it's not a toque. So I have these pants that I want to wear for Christmas, like dinner and everything, like for it to be like my Christmas outfit. So I bought these other pants like a while ago. Um, I don't know when, just like a couple months ago. I showed it in like one of my previous vlogs. I don't even remember which one it was in because it was so long ago, but I haven't worn them yet. So I was like, it would be perfect for like Christmas dinner, but I just need like a cute shirt to go with it. So I saw this shirt at Aritzia and I just really thought it was cute. I love like the long sleeve and I love like the how it's like that's kind of a square like here you know what I mean and it's really soft and good material and I just like really like the light pink and it's just like dainty and cute so I'm not sure if this is like gonna match so I have to try it on with the pants so if not I'm just gonna like exchange it for a different shirt it's not that big of a deal but yeah I just thought that this was so cute and it was the only one left in my size so I had to get it but yeah, so hopefully um, I'll end up wearing this for Christmas dinner. But if it doesn't match, then I'll just kick something else out. So yeah, that's all that I got. I've honestly been doing like most of my Christmas shopping online because I just feel like it's a lot easier. Like if you know what you want, you can just order it. As long as like you don't exceed the shipping because shipping is going to be really busy. So as long as it come in, comes in time. But I've already ordered like a few things for different people online and everything is probably going to come in time. So that's like stress relieving. I just have like a few more gifts that I need to get for people um, that I think I might do like some of them online and some of them need to be in store. So we'll see. But I honestly have got maybe like half my Christmas shopping done so far and it's mostly it's all been online. So I haven't even bought like one Christmas gift in person yet. Also, today is December 1st. So it's technically like the first day of Vlogmas, but I'm not going to be doing that because I just like I don't have like I don't do enough things to post a video every day like I don't know how youtubers do it I feel like if I lived like in a busier city maybe or if I lived in, on my own it would be easier to do that like a vlog every single day but I don't know I just don't think like I don't have the content in me to do a vlog every single day like I just don't have that I just don't know what it would be in the vlogs because like most of my days consist of me just literally sitting at home So it's like I you can't really work with that Like <laughs> I can't post a video every single day like that's just super hard So maybe in the future I'll do vlogmas like every single day But for this year at least that's just like a no-no for me But we'll see for future upcoming years maybe but Yeah, let me know if you guys like watch people's vlogmas videos or if it's like too much for you It's like a video every single day like you have to keep up with that you have to be on YouTube every day, you know, so I don't know. I'm definitely like, I love watching vlogmas videos just because like you get a new video every day. So it's exciting and fun, but it's also a lot of content. So yeah. Anyways, that was my little mall haul. Hope you guys enjoyed. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday dear Zoo. This is literally a dog edible burger. And a little birthday bun. This is so funny. Like the ketchup and mustard too. The meat actually looks like real. They did a good job. Mm -hmm.